Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to talk about a subject that a lot of people have questions about. Alcohol. Alcohol. And we're going to start drinking right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about a subject that a lot of people have questions about. Drinking. Drinking. And before we get started, I want everybody to note that this is a Nush shirt with an N. This isn't an L because I'm not a Lush. Lush. And when I say we're drinking, I'm drinking a bubbly. And I'm drinking Grape Zevia. Because the fact of the matter is we don't drink that often. No, we really don't drink very often at all. And after you watch this video, you may not want to drink that often either. Yeah. So we're going to talk about alcohol. We're going to talk about can you drink on keto? What happens when you do drink on keto? And if you are going to drink, what can you drink? Because when people ask, you know, they want a simple answer. Can yeah. I drink? Yes and no. Yeah. There's a lot more factors, I think, when you're you're drinking on keto. Yeah. Now, I think the, where we're going to start this out is if you are going to drink on keto, let's talk about what you can drink. We'll start off there. And before you decide to even take a drink, we ask that you drink responsibly. Yes, please don't drink and drive. No way. That's something that's very, like, that, that subject is very important to us. Yeah. So, um... Let's talk about what you can drink. So if you are going to drink, the one thing you have to remember is a lot of the alcohols that you drank probably pre-keto are probably a no-no on keto. Yeah. Because they have, have a lot of carbs in them. And the first one that comes to mind is beer. Yeah. Beer pretty much is a no-no on keto. And here's why. The bottom line is it's made from barley. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you're talking carb central. You're, you're basically drinking bread in a can. Yeah. <laughs> so, sorry if that was something that, like, you really enjoyed drinking. I don't think it's really going to, you know, total carb or net carb. I don't think it's really going to Now, there are a few low-carb beers out there. I don't know how good they are because I never really was a beer drinker to begin with. You're German. Is that even legal? I don't know. My dad liked beer once in a while, like when he was having sausages or something like that. But, you know, they are, the, the low carb ones, again, I don't know how good they are, but I do know that the average beer is going to be like five carbs in a can. Yeah. And let's face it, how many cans of beer are you going to drink if you're drinking beer to begin with? Right, exactly. The next thing we're going to talk about is wine, because there are some wines that you can drink on keto. Yeah, so there are some wines that you can drink, and there's some wines that you can't drink. And unfortunately, the wines that we used to enjoy occasionally pre-keto are the ones that we can't drink, the sweet ones. Yeah, because basically I'm like Fozzie Bear in the Great Muppet Caper. <laughs> I want to drink something that tastes like, you know, sugar ginger ale. Yeah, we enjoy things like the Moscatos, the White Zinfandels, the different types of rosés, all the different sweet wines, but unfortunately those are higher in sugar and they're pretty much a no-no when it comes to keto. And that's not really surprising. Those are the sweet ones. Right. So what kind of wines can you drink? You can drink the dry ones, the dry whites. You could drink the dry reds. And you can also drink champagne. So let's start off with white wine. So you can drink something like a Chardonnay, mm -hmm. a Sauvignon Blanc, uh, a Pinot Blanc, a Pinot uh, Grigio. Those are the kind of white wines that you can drink, the really dry white wines. And you're going to be looking at about 0.6 carbs per ounce. So basically, a glass of wine is going to be about three carbs. And remember, a glass of wine is only five ounces. You know... <laughs> They always sell those glasses that are basically like this big or bigger. And yeah, you only get five ounces in a serving. Well, it's because they're only supposed to fill the glass halfway so that you can really enjoy the aroma of the wine and do the sniff and the twirl and all of that stuff. I'm so not fancy enough for wine. <laughs> 
Now, when it comes to the red wines, Rachel and I were never really red wine drinkers to begin with. I don't even think we are adult enough for red <laughs> wine. I mean, it always tastes like medicine to me. Yeah. Now, with the red wines, you do, once again, have to stick to the drier ones. So the things like the Pinot Noirs, the Merlots, the Cabernet Sauvignons, those are the drier red wines. And you're looking at about 0.75 um, carbs per ounce, which is like three and a half, four carbs per glass. Yeah. And remember, a glass is only going to be, once again, five ounces. Boo. <laughs> now, if you do like wine, one of the best things you can drink is actually champagne, which is going to come in somewhere between two to three grams of carbs for the entire glass. And it doesn't have to just be for weddings and New Year's Eve. Make every single time you drink a celebration. Yeah, so go to brunch, have your mimosa, just eliminate the orange juice. Now, if you are going to drink on keto, the best type of alcohol to be drinking is actually your hard liquors. Yeah! Things like your vodkas, gins, scotch, whiskey, tequila, your rums. Those are the ones that are going to be zero to one carb per ounce. We sound like we're giving terrible advice. <laughs> And it's advice coming from someone with a half empty bottle of vodka. This bottle has been on our house for a very long time. That is true. So now here's the thing. The alcohol itself, the vodkas, the gins, the rums, if you're getting the plain ones, you don't want to get flavored vodkas and no. flavored rums. Those are going to have more sugar in them, but we're talking about straight vodka. But the problem doesn't come in the alcohol itself. It's going to come in your mixers. Yeah. And even some of the skinny mixes has sugar in it. You know, they have like added carbs because they're adding like fruit juice and things like that. So you have to be really careful what you mix it with. Yeah, so things like vodka and orange juice, vodka and cranberry juice, that for the most part is gonna kind of be off the table. Yeah. So if you want a scotch and soda, if you're using seltzer water, that would be work well. Um, rum and Coke, that's gonna be a no-no. Maybe rum and diet. diet. Uh, you can mix it with things like this. You can mix it with a Zevia mm -hmm. or even a Diet Coke if you don't mind the aspartame. Yeah. Uh, seltzer waters or mm -hmm. LaCroix, things like that. And also, Zevia makes these. If you like, I used to drink gin and tonic once in a while. So, Zevia makes these tonic waters. Yeah. Zero calories, zero carbs. That would be a good option. And they also make these lemon lime with bitter ones. And they're actually really good. Yeah, we actually just drink them like this. We don't even add alcohol to them. Yeah, they're delicious. So hard liquor is going to be your lowest carb alcohol if you're going to drink when you're on keto. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about some of the dangers with drinking alcohol on keto. And we'll just kind of get all of this stuff out of the way. So we can kind of focus on the bad things about drinking on keto. So you definitely can drink on keto, but you're going to want to be extra careful because number one, you're going to get drunk way faster. Yeah, because here's the thing. Carbohydrates actually will slow down the metabolism of alcohol, but we're keto, which means you don't have any carbohydrates in your system. So you're going to get drunk much faster and because you're already a little dehydrated when you're on keto because you've depleted your glycogen stores, you can also get even more dehydrated when you're drinking your alcohol, which means wicked hangovers. Like terrible headaches, throwing up, like it's bad. It's yeah. like really, really bad. So if you are used to drinking three or four drinks, You'll be lucky if you get through one. One, maybe two. And I would say along with that, if you are going to drink, I would probably drink like, you know, one drink and then drink something that's heavy in the electrolytes, whether it be a Zip Fizz or an Ultima or something like that. Replace those electrolytes as you're drinking so that you can make sure you stay hydrated. Only if you don't want to feel like garbage, right? Like, because you will feel like garbage. Yeah. Total garbage. The second reason why you may not want to drink on keto is because alcohol just naturally lowers your inhibitions and willpower. Yeah. So if you think about it, when you go out drinking, you're lowering your inhibitions. Now, what are you going to want to do? You're going to want to snack on some foods. Think about when you go to the bars and stuff and they have like peanuts and pretzels and things. Those things are there to like make your mouth dry or make you want to drink more. That's why it's always salty stuff. Super curvy. Then you, where do you want to go after you go out for a night? You want to go to a restaurant. You want to go to a diner, something like that. And most of the time, what are you going to end up eating? Carby foods. Yeah. Plus... You're going to end up wanting to drink even more, which now you're going back to the first reason where you're going to get drunk faster. You're going to get hangovers and things like that. So you have to be really careful with that. So finally, the biggest reason why you may not want to drink when you're on keto is the bottom line is this. Drinking alcohol will at least temporarily knock you out of ketosis. Oh, 
close. So I have to really, really want to drink in order to put myself in that position. When it comes to alcohol, it's a poison to your body. Your body wants to get rid of it. Yeah, so what your liver is gonna do is it's, it's gonna stop working with the ketones, it's gonna stop working on the proteins that you have and the carbohydrates, it's gonna take all of its energy and it's gonna metabolize that alcohol, get it out of its system, which means no more creating ketones, no more burning fat. So at least temporarily, your body's gonna be not working on ketones because it's gonna be living off of alcohol to get it out of its system. So basically, is one drink worth a stall? So if drinking alcohol doesn't kick you out of ketosis completely, it's going to at least slow down your fat burning process. And this could last anywhere from a couple of hours to a couple of days. Yeah, it depends on how your body is working and how much you drink. So we're gonna wrap up with a big question, which is, Joe, when can I drink? It's gonna completely depend on where you are in your keto journey. If you're early on in your keto journey, I highly suggest you hold off on drinking alcohol. And you wanna make sure your body is super fat adapted and it can switch back and forth easily. Otherwise, you're just going to like completely continue to put yourselves in stalls. You wanna be able to metabolize that alcohol and then go right back to the fat burning. But if you're trying to lose a bunch of weight, remember, Every time you drink, you're putting yourself in another stall, whether it be for a day, two days, even a week. The other thing is, if you're dealing with issues like fatty liver disease and stuff like that, the alcohol is not gonna help you reverse that, and you wanna be able to reverse that before you get into drinking the alcohol. Because the bottom line is, even more important than the opportunity to drink a drink is to experience good health all the time. Yeah, and if you are going to drink, I would highly suggest only doing it occasionally. Like, I wouldn't say do it, drink every day or every week. I'd probably be closer to maybe once a month, once every couple months for a special occasion or something like that. Yeah. Definitely. So that is our video for today. If you guys like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.